and 4. Calculate the molar solubility of aluminum 3-hydroxide. Uh, okay, so they also give us the KSP value as well. So let's just define molar solubility. This is the number of moles. of solute that can be dissolved per liter of solution. before it precipitates. and becomes saturated. Okay, so the first step of calculating molar solubility is just to write your reaction down. So for aluminum 3-hydroxide, This can be broken into its ions, aluminum 3 plus, plus 3 hydroxide ions. Okay, so everything is balanced. So next we want to construct an ice table. So aluminum is this is a solid, so we can just cross out its column. And for our products, they both start off with an initial concentration of zero. C is the change, so the X is the molar solubility, which is what we are trying to solve. And then E is actually 3x. So there are 3 moles. Okay, so we ended up getting x and 3x. And then the next step is to write out our KSP expression. So KSP is equal to the concentration of aluminum 3 plus times the concentration of OH minus to the power of 3. And the KSP was given in the question. It is 2 times 10 to the negative 32. And if we subbed in our x values as the concentrations, we end up getting the following. Okay, so now we just need to solve for x. Okay, so these, this can be simplified to 27 times x to the power of 4. And then x is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 32 divided by 27, all of this to the power of 1 over 4. So it's like taking the, the fourth root. I don't know what that term is called, but. Uh, and then if you plug it all into your calculator or an Excel sheet, for example, you get a molar solubility of 5.22 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay, so let's see what our junior tutor said. 
They wrote out their reaction, constructed the ice chart, and found molar solubility. Ksp is equal to the concentration of aluminum 3 plus times the concentration of OH minus to the power of 3. They subbed in what they got from their ice table and got the 27 times x to the power of 4. Okay, so I believe the bracket, the number in the bracket is right, but I think they might have just did a calculation error for the very last step. I'm just going to say that the explanation is correct. Value of x should be equal to 5.22 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay, so everything else, all the steps were correct, though. I'll just say it is incorrect.